Welcome back, Strauss. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me. So this whole vaccine news and excitement is causing a bit of a rethink on Wall Street for, for the stay-at-home winners like video game stocks. Is it, is it right or wrong to assume that if we do get a vaccine, fewer people out there will be spending money and time playing video games? Well, first, um, you know, before, uh, before we take any victory laps, you know, this has been a terribly tragic time. And the notion that perhaps there's a solution on the horizon is great news no matter how you look at it. And um, <clears throat> that's certainly how we look at it. So we're very optimistic and hopeful that a vaccine will be brought to most everyone within the coming months. In terms of how it would affect us, selfishly, um, I'm not at all concerned. Uh, I think we've seen a systemic shift toward interactive entertainment. I think that that systemic shift will continue to create benefits for our company and our industry um, on an ongoing basis. I think the trend of moving from linear to interactive entertainment has only accelerated. Why? What, what gives you hope that this is a, a more permanent or, or secular trend, as you call it? Well, media consultancy Activate did some research, and they felt early in the pandemic there was about a 30 percent increase in entertainment consumption and roughly the same increase, perhaps a bit more, in interactive entertainment consumption. They projected that post-pandemic versus pre-pandemic levels, we'd still see about a 14 percent uptick in consumption. Of course, Take-Two has done a whole lot better than the 30 or 40 percent, and we expect to do better than the 14 percent. What do I think drives that, most importantly? I think what drives that is people's awareness that interactive entertainment now delivers not just great characters, great stories, great graphics, great gameplay, but also gives you an opportunity to play with or against your friends, no matter where they are, no matter what time it is, and to build new communities of friends all around the world. You can talk to people, you can see your friends while you're playing video games. And that distinguishes our business from any other entertainment business. Uh, and I think it's just the beginning. So I think the awareness that you can consume interactive entertainment in this remarkable way um, is now dawning on everyone. And I, I think that will continue to benefit us. Strauss, are you agnostic uh, as to, to, to what hardware uh, people are playing your games on? And, and in five years' time, you know, whether it's because of 5G, whether it's because of the, the, the better laptops, uh, better iPads, better TVs that are coming out, Will we only just really have one device or two devices rather than five devices in our home because you'll be able to game, work, uh, converse on, on just one single device? Well, that's already technically possible. I mean, PCs are a great video game device. They're already directly competitive with consoles. They will be uh, directly competitive with new consoles. However, people like some people like to play on dedicated devices. We, we, we're... I'd say the word agnostic, but of course we care about the technical developments because technological steps forward give our developers new canvases on which to paint, new opportunities to increase the quality of what we do and to make better and better experiences. So we're not at all uh, unaware of or unconcerned about technological movement, um, and we're incredibly excited about the new consoles launching this week, for example. Uh, that said, yes, in five years, I think it is likely that people will be less focused on what the box looks like or what brand brings it to you and more focused on, on what the content is. Yeah, while we're on the subject of those consoles that are being released this week, what are your expectations there and, and how much of a, of a catalyst is that for you, for your business? Well, it, it's no longer a catalyst. It's also no longer a detriment when consoles mature. This used to be a sign curve business as platforms were launched, you'd see a big spike in software sales as they matured, that would flatten, and pretty quickly thereafter, you'd see software sales begin to decline, and that created a lot of uncertainty for video game companies. Well, that didn't happen the last time around. For us, it didn't happen the time before that, I think because of the quality of the products we, we put out. But now for us and the entire industry, technolo technological shifts forward are, are really only a good thing, and I think that that will continue. For us, we're very optimistic. I think these are these are great new platforms. We have two releases actually at launch. Borderlands 3 and NBA 2K21 will be actually the only sports title in market for about a month for, for, for new generation platforms. That's exciting. Um, it's all good news. 
And you recently did an acquisition. It sounds like a lot of the analysts are optimistic about, about what you did and upbeat about Codemasters. I know F1, Formula One racing is, is a big play there. What else attracted you to this? And, and why now, after that stock had already had such a giant run-up, as so many in the industry have? Well, look, uh, it's about a billion-dollar deal. That's a material deal for us. We've said that we're willing to pursue inorganic growth when we believe the transaction will be accretive in, in the first full year of operations. Uh, we expect it to be uh, EPS accretive on an adjusted basis, which, you know, which is really important to us. Uh, Codemasters is the leader in all racing games. We think combining that incredible development expertise with our publishing organization should yield a great result. Uh, of course, the board of directors uh, of Codemasters has recommended the deal, but it isn't yet closed. Uh, if all things go according to plan, the deal should close in the first quarter um, of, of calendar 21. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.